Hey fellas, um, these are the twisted wedges that I had on the LTD back when I had a 302 in it. And um, I'm going to be putting these on the short block over there that's sitting on that stand. That's uh, the one that came out of Rodney's red car. The, uh, I don't know what he calls it now, the baby pro mod or truck Chuck Norris or something. Anyway. That one come out of there. I'm gonna use it in the trooper car after I put these, get these heads together. I'm gonna to have them milled, take uh, 30 thousandths off and have a real valve job done to them after I finish what uh, chamber mods I'm doing. Uh, these were 170s that I ported. They're probably in the 185, 190 range now. Uh, one thing, when choosing heads, you gotta, should know that these because the valves are rotated so the port on these is actually a quarter inch shorter than an inline head like the AFR so uh, a 185 twisted wedge is actually bigger than a 185 AFR because the AFR ports a it's like a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch longer you know and that probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference but it is shorter so uh, and like I said, it is bigger, so depending on what you're doing, one head might be preferable over the other. These, uh, I've had these over at uh, Ray's in Pascagoula, and I also had a set of twisted wedges that were ported by a, a shop down in Panama City called Panhandle. These are the numbers from the Panhandle twisted wedges, and then these numbers are from this one here, one of mine. Um, they're pretty close. Um, I tried to emulate them, copy it as best I could. I talked with uh, Dwayne Bush about the difference, and he said that's most likely probably the valve job. You know, these these heads have just a factory valve job that had a bunch of miles on it, and these had a fresh valve job done by Panhandle, so it had you know more angle done in the chamber or the. Uh, throat and on the valves themselves whereas mine were just stock valves stock twisted wedge valves with a stock or you know mass produced valve job all I did on these was just to uh, raise the roof a little bit and a little wider uh, the a lot of work here in the in the bowl like I said getting 90% across here on both intake and exhaust I'm not sure if I got the 90% here or not, so it's probably in the upper 80s though. And then uh, some work in the exhaust port. So they flow pretty decent in the red car with a really small cam. It was the uh, XE264. Put it in dot to dot. It was, you know, it's, it's like a 212, 218, 544 lift. I had a 17 rockers on it. And through the uh, AOD. Or no, I had the, yeah, 4R70 locked up. It made 330 something at Johnny's. I think it was 330, middle 330s, both on horsepower and torque. It it run real good, got good mileage. It wasn't real fast at the track, but it is pretty heavy. So ideally, if knowing now what I knew then, I would have uh, had a little more compression and a little uh, better cam in it, and I think it would have run decently faster. So... The reason I'm show the reason I'm showing you these today is because the uh, it's like 40 degrees out and I really need to be bringing Vincent's uh, silver car in the the uh, the drive gear off the output shaft that the transmission came off so the speedometer don't work and the SN cars with as finicky are uh, finicky as they are in the tune and stuff it uses that information for running the tune apparently running the uh, engine so it's kind of missing that information so I've got the other transmission ready to go in uh, but like I said it's 40 degrees and I'm trying to find excuses why I shouldn't be laying on the concrete floor underneath the car changing the transmission so I started doing this instead um, oh the other thing I was going to tell you about these because the valves are rotated you know the ports a little bigger but these also have more valve drop and that's the valve drop is that you see how much close or recessed 
the valves are compared to the uh, the face of the head. On AFR, it's a lot less. So that's probably why I can run these heads on a flat top, a true flat top piston like the 86 short block with a stock cam and a 1.7s. Um, the 11R series heads have even more valve drops. So the, there's guys that have run like an 11R190 and actually had a, Ed Curtis did a cam for him, a, you know, flow tech induction. He did a cam for him and I think it made like 380 at the wheels through a, had a Holley System X 80 millimeter throttle body and a, you know, good exhaust. So the 11R190s are even uh, working better than these, the old, uh, older style. I think there's a couple degree difference in the valve angle. I forget what these are. I think those are 15, but I don't recall off the top of my head. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you these while I'm trying to uh, find other stuff to do so I don't have to lay on the floor. But sun's coming out, so I need to get at it. All right, appreciate y'all for following and subscribing and comments and all that good stuff. Later. So sorry, fellas. I started to load this on YouTube, then I realized I didn't talk about the chamber mods. Um, I think I mentioned it on the other video about the twisted wedges that are on the Trooper car now. But this is a stock chamber, and you see it's, it just look looks kind of weird. Uh, the There's a guy on Yellow Bullet, I'll put a link to the thread. Um, there's a guy on there, he's pretty big in the racing industry that I'm having a complete brain fart. What his name is right now but he said these chambers you know like this in, in stock form are very restrictive so he suggested taking this down a little bit and I think I probably need to take a little bit more make this little flatter right here and then uh, he, he said they work better but they're still not optimal but um, the way they are now in stock form he said you got to have a lot of spark with them because the chamber is restrictive and if you open up the chamber, like he suggested, you don't need to run, you can run less spark, which is, you know, a probably a good thing. Um, if you can see that little crack right there between the, that's really common with these for some reason. I think it's because the material is so thin right there. But uh, the the heads on Stupor Trooper now are have, I think almost every one of those has that crack. So, it's not a big deal. When I first saw that on the heads, those uh, panhandle twisted wedges, I thought, you know, once I cleaned all the carbon off and saw that, I was kind of upset because uh, I'd bought them from a guy in Pensacola named Little Dave. He used to part out cars, Mustangs, pretty heavily. He parted out a lot of cars. And uh, I, my youngest son actually bought them from him, and then uh, I ended up getting them. But uh, once I cleaned all the carbon off and saw those, I was kind of pissed. I thought, man, he sold me some garbage. But then I started looking around and sent pictures to, uh, like, Dwayne Bush and Ed Curtis and that, and they said that's pretty common. So if you see a crack there, don't be alarmed. And uh, I'll post a link to the thread with the pictures and info about the chamber mods on these. So if you have a set of twisted wedges and you want to go ahead and try to remedy the chamber, it'll... Uh, Maybe the pictures, <laughs> you're like me, I got to have pictures. I need. I don't need to have somebody tell me about stuff. I need pictures. So um, maybe it'll help you out if you want to try it yourself. All right, so now that's it. Later, fellas.